Lastly, this is the last thing I want to tell you guys, is uh, July 20th, we're having our kids conference, and it's called Candy Crave. Uh, it's going to be for third graders all the way through sixth grade. Now, um, it's going to be on a Friday, and really what we're looking for is volunteers that can help facilitate that. If you're interested in that on that particular day, again, that's July 20th. It's on a Friday. If you can help facilitate that and help volunteer, uh, get a hold of one of us. Get a hold of Willie or Delina Gonzalez, and they'll get you some more information. Guys, you're doing a tremendous job. If I can leave you with anything, make sure... As soon as you end this blog, you go right to our website, or as soon as you have time, listen to Pastor's uh, message from this weekend. We love you guys. Uh, be expecting rain in your forecast. Be talking to you soon. Hey, Fresno leaders. How you guys doing? Hey, uh, in case you're wondering what the deal is going on with this umbrella, you know, it's probably close to 100 degrees out here in Fresno, California, and it's not that I'm uh, uh, any stranger to the sun, but uh, in light of what Pastor Randy spoke this weekend, uh, we're expecting rain. We're in a season of rain. And if you were out this weekend, uh, listen to me, leaders. It is imperative that you go on our website and you listen to Pastor Randy's message from this weekend. And let me clarify just a little bit more. It was more than a message. Uh, he really released our instructions and our marching orders for this movement. And so if you missed that, man, I cannot uh, emphasize that enough. Listen to that word. It is a life changer and it is the direction that we need to be going in uh, this season. And, uh, and, and there are some things that, uh, that I need to, to highlight to you right now uh, in today's blog that are gonna bring some better instruction to that. Regarding Wednesday nights, Pastor is so passionate about united prayer. That's in fact what we're gonna do this Wednesday. We're all gonna be meeting up at our Clovis campus uh, starting at uh, 7 p.m. And uh, we're not going to be meeting here. At, at one point we were. That has changed, and that changed this weekend. So our appointed place of duty is our Clovis location. Uh, we are going to temporarily postpone our marriage class and the John Bevere uh, workshop that we have going on. Uh, we'll revisit that uh, probably within the weeks to come. But right now our instruction is, is united prayer. And so, again, make sure that you guys are there as leaders. Make sure you're helping us get that word out. Um, very, very powerful. Don't forget that this upcoming weekend, Glenn Berto is going to be with us um, at our Sunday night service. And so leaders, I'm certainly counting on you to be there. Uh, make sure you're, we're getting the word out. Every time Pastor Glenn Berto comes, it's always a powerful word. It's always something that's right. It's a right now spoken word for the house. So make sure you guys are coming out to that. And uh, Alicia wants me to... Uh, remind you that she's having host team training now that's for a coffee bar that's for the bookstore that's for all of my volunteers that are guest services greeters ushers and parking lot you're you are our host teams and so we're having training for you on june 9th here at our fresno location that's at 9 30 in the morning and so we'll make sure that we have some uh some coffee and some refreshments for you guys that day but it's going to be good it's going to empower you and it's going to help you be better and sharper leaders uh, in our church and then uh, I also wanted to thank all of you for helping us make room for all of our first-time guests here at this campus. For those of you that know, um, parking is getting kind of tight, especially at our 1130 service. And you guys have been gracious enough to park all the way by the, the Brownie Baker and beyond. And so I wanted to just thank you. Um, thank you for doing that. It means, it means a lot. And for those of you leaders that can help... Uh, uh, make more room at that 1130. We're even asking if you can attend that 830 service. That would be very, very helpful.